Awesome. So how does it feel to be back uh, doing baseball with things? Um, it's great. Um, really good to be back with all the guys. Everybody's here. Um, obviously, first day of fall practice, first inner squad. Um, everybody's super pumped, and I think we got something special going on here. What's the interaction been like with Max so far and what he's brought to the program? Yeah, um, he's very knowledgeable, really knows what he's talking about. Um, I've enjoyed him since he got here day one. Um, he's very professional about his business and what he has us doing and his standards. I know he has some, you know, a lot of video, a lot of analytics. How is, what is, what is some things that he's brought that's been different just in the day to day with how he's worked with y'all? Yeah, so bullpens this year um, are all track man based. Um, everything's measured, every single pitch you've thrown in bullpens so far. And he's really taught us all the numbers and all the metrics and what they mean. And kind of how to, how to read that stuff and uh, go pitch by pitch and adjust. Yeah, is that something you go when can look at later and kind of study your game a little bit more than you have in the past? Yeah, we can always go up to his office. He's always uh, offering us to go up there and kind of look at all that stuff and see what we need to do um, for the future. So obviously, you've worked with two different pitching coaches now in your college career. One that's been a college guy, and others come from the professional race. So how would you explain the contrasting in styles and you know, how have you enjoyed working with the leaders so far? Yeah, I'd say um, they're pretty similar besides all the metric stuff. Um, Coach Max is really big on the metrics and track men and all that stuff. So um, it's really cool to see all the numbers. I've never used that before, um, like in high school or even last year. Um, but I've enjoyed working with them. It's been something special. I've gained a lot of information um, versus last year to this year. When you talk about analytics and metrics and stuff, you know, what was it like first dealing with that? And you know, how did you go about kind of wading through and deciding which stuff you really want to pay attention to? Yeah, um, it's funny. I didn't really know what any of the numbers meant at first, um, even though I've been pitching this long. Um, it's, he, he really taught me how to read all that stuff. And there's a few uh, key things you want to look at, like horizontal movement, um, release height, and tilt on the ball. That's kind of the, the three big ones I've been looking at. And so it's cool to adjust pitch by pitch and see how different they are after each pitch you throw. Obviously, being one of the returning guys, how have you and the fellow pitchers that you were on the team with last year taken to that slot? Yeah, everybody's really been enjoying it. Um, like I said, it's some something, something new this year to everybody, and all the returning guys have said great things about it. And um, they really enjoy looking at all the metrics and seeing what they're capable of doing. I feel like by the end of the, your career here, you should get a minor in physics or kinesiology or something now? <laughs> yeah, no doubt, after looking at all that, because sometimes it can get really confusing if you, uh, you haven't really been taught about it. So I'd say so. What's been kind of your main focus this summer, or you know, what aspect of your game, your pitches have you been still working on? Yeah, so I sat up here in College Station all summer, and I really worked on transforming my body and getting it to where it needs to be. I kind of took a break from throwing. Um, throughout the summer, I didn't really pick it up till middle towards the end of the summer. And I made some good changes with my body, um, looking at DEXA scans and all that stuff, gained muscle, got leaner, and all that good stuff. So. And throwing these past few weeks, I felt a lot stronger um, in my body. So I'm really, really excited about that. And what, what are your, kind of your goals and hoping to get out of fall ball? Yeah, um, just have confidence in all three of my pitches and build a good mindset throughout the whole fall. And um, just feel really confident what, with uh, what I know I have to do. Here's some of the other pitchers on the staff that you know, you've really enjoyed watching their bullpens and have been standing out to you. Yeah, um, definitely freshman left-hander Caden Wilson. Um, I think he's really special, really good command for his ball. Um, really knows what he's doing. Uh, I think he's very mature for his age. I'd say him for sure. And obviously, the lineup's going to look a little bit different. Obviously, you know, part of that lineup is you mm -hmm. can get to face them in uh, practice and upcoming in these scrimmages. So the addition and stuff, how are you uh, looking forward to that challenge? Yeah, um, it's great to face the hitters we have here at A&M and the guys on this roster. They're very talented, know what they're doing, very disciplined. Um, it's great to get those reps against those guys because they're the real deal. They're legit. So it's really, really cool to get that experience. How do you think they stack up to some of the SEC lineups you faced last year? I think they're right there with everybody, 100%, if not better. Um, they really know what they're doing. We've got great coaches that are working with them. So um, I think they're feeling really confident. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, how does it feel to be back on the field and, and swinging again? Yeah, it's awesome. I really missed it. Uh, I mean, I had a wonderful summer. Uh, got a lot of work in this summer and honestly had a nice break too, which was huge for my mindset and huge for just me personally. And then now that we're back here, I mean, I couldn't be happier. How, what do you, how do you feel like you're a different player coming into year two than year one? Just more mature. I understand more. 
I mean, I, I, I really listened to coaches last year and really understood and bought in 100% to what they were saying. And I mean, I couldn't be more blessed to, to understand the game more and just have more knowledge. What does it mean to you to represent and play for your country? I mean, what, what were your biggest takeaways playing with USA Baseball? Yeah, I mean, that's like legit the biggest honor you can have as a baseball player, right? I mean, you get to play the game you love and represent your country while doing it. I mean, what could you ask for more, right? You can't. And um, I mean, some of the biggest takeaways I, I had from that is just live every day like it's your last, right? Like have perspective of like, I mean, there's kids in Africa who are starving and I'm getting to do this game. Like I'm literally being able to play a game for my country while there's other kids out there who are not as fortunate as me. And I mean, you just have to think about how blessed you are and just put it into perspective. Obviously you already knew uh, Britt, uh, Britt Montgomery mm -hmm. against him, but how, what was it like to be a teammate of this for the first time? Yeah, I mean, it was awesome being Brandon's teammate. Uh, he's a great guy, great person to be around, number one. I mean, that's what you look for in a human being, right? You want to have fun around him. And uh, I really got to be around him and just grow as two teammates together, which was awesome. And now that we're here together, I mean, I mean, you can write it up better than that. I was so happy whenever he came. And I mean, so excited. So what do he and the other transfer hitters add to this lineup? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, obviously, we miss Jack Moss and Trevor. And legit Haas and everybody who was here last year. I mean, but I feel like this year we have something special going on. And as long as we buy in 100% like we did last year, we have a we have a good chance of doing something fun. Wait, what, what did you notice about? Um, I guess what what would you admire about this game, and, and how do you feel like it'll complement you know this team and how it helped it with, with you guys? Braden? Yes. Yeah. I mean, number one, I mean he's one of the best pitchers in the country, right? So I mean that's that's huge. And then number two. He has some of the most pop I've ever seen a human being have. Like, it's astonishing to me. And uh, he switch hits, which is, I mean, I wish I could do that too. It would make it a lot easier on myself. But, uh, I mean, he's, he's amazing. It's gonna, that's a really, really, really big win for us to get him. So, How do you feel like the, your experience this summer with Team USA, how, how do you feel like that has um, better prepared you and, I guess, helped uh, improve yeah, I mean, I got to see in the trials, I got to see some of the best arms in the country for, what, a week and a half, two weeks. Legit, it was just nonstop, just guy after guy after guy. It was like an SEC Friday night guy literally every day. Every single person who stepped on there was just legit, and you weren't going to have an easy easy at bat while you were there. So, I mean, that was that was huge for me and my development, and um, I feel that's prepared me to come back here and just keep doing what I was doing uh, all summer long. What do you hope to get out of the fall ball? Uh, honestly, just keep developing like everybody wants to do well. But even if I struggle, I mean, it's baseball and I know I'm going to struggle and I've already come to that. I mean, like I'm a human being. I'm not Superman, right? Like it's going to happen. So um, honestly, I just want to prepare myself more for like if I struggle now, I'd rather struggle now and learn how to deal with it than struggle in the season and be like not knowing how to deal with it and just not being in the right mindset. So. Cool. Thank you.